Hello everyone, and welcome to the perk analysis series, where I test perks based on their individual ability to benefit the player in the trial. This analysis will be based on three factors. The first factor is how often the perk can activate within a trial. The second is how well the perk performs when activated and how it can help. And the third is how likely is it to activate or get use if the player puts it on for one game. Now for the disclaimers. This series will not be an official tier list or ranking on genuine usefulness of perks at high level. However, with that being said, I will try and evaluate the perks to the best of my ability. I am by no means a top tier survivor, but with almost 3k hours under my belt, and most of my playtime being survivor while running different random perks, I think I have some room to talk about perks and their general use. When discussing perks, I will only be referring to their tier 3 version. And during gameplay, I am allowing myself to run items, add-ons, and offerings. Although I have almost 3k hours, I will also try and note how the perk can have use in low to medium skill levels. For these videos, I will be playing in a Survive with Friends group with my friend Jake. We will be talking about the perk while running it. Our gameplay will not be serious, as we don't take DVD that seriously. There will be misplays, but at the end of the day, we're having fun. And that's what matters. One last disclaimer before we get into this. Since I'm running one perk at a time, the game shown may not provide a full story on the perk's usefulness. I will try and make a case for certain perks that don't reach even close to their full potential without a build. And without further ado, let's get into it. Parental Guidance is Yoichi's first perk. Parental Guidance is a perk that removes the user's scratch marks, grunts of pain, and blood trails when they stun the killer. When the user stuns the killer by any means, Parental Guidance activates for 7 seconds, removing the aforementioned traceables. Parental Guidance only activates from stuns and not necessarily blinds. Flashbangs, firecrackers, and flashlights only blind the killer, but Joel's Blast Mine both stuns and blinds the killer. So Parental Guidance can work when paired with Blast Mine, as long as Blast Mine activates when the killer kicks a gen. Parental Guidance also has synergy with Locker Stuns from Jane's Head On, as well as stuns from Lori's Decisive Strike. If the user wiggles out of the killer's grasp, including if the killer drops them, or they save a carried teammate with a blind, that will also count as a stun and activate Parental Guidance. Basically, anything that a survivor does that forces the killer to be unable to move for a few seconds counts as a stun. Blinds can count as stuns, but will not count unless it actually stops the killer from moving against their will. Burns against Wraith don't count for some reason, and no blinding nemesis as zombies does not activate parental guidance either. Parental guidance makes stuns more viable for players who often get stuns or players who want to benefit more from stuns. For example, some archives require multiple stuns per trial. Sometimes stunning the killer multiple times can get you tunneled, and parental guidance can make it so that stuns are more beneficial to the user. When killers pursue or tunnel survivors harder if they're attempting to stun them multiple times in a trial, parental guidance can, to an extent, negate this. If the killer can't track who they want to track, they may just leave the area. In this case, parental guidance doesn't only help the user escape chase, it wastes the killer's time. As I mentioned on this channel before, removing multiple ways a killer can track you can be very beneficial, especially on indoor maps. Breaking line of sight after stunning the killer can lead to them just losing you entirely. With pallet stuns being the overall most common type of stun, the game is probably where this perk shines the most. I mean, it's littered with pallets where it lacks vaults, and there's enough time to find a line of sight breaker before parental guidance expires. What's great about Parental Guidance is that it doesn't require the user to break line of sight in some cases. When running head-on or decisive strike with Parental Guidance, the killer may not even see where the survivor runs to, making Parental Guidance shine. Yunjin Smash Hit gives the survivor a speed boost when they get a pallet stun. This combined with Parental Guidance makes a combo that can guarantee losing the killer in most maps. Even though I haven't really ran this perk before this video, it still sticks out as a good combo perk that can somewhat reliably lose the killer. If you're a player who tends to get a lot of pallet stuns and flashlight saves, I'd recommend running Parental Guidance to help you escape chase easier, and not draw aggro as much from the killer. Thanks for watching. 
And as usual, stay tuned for more of the series coming out later. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Have a good one. Seven seconds, no blood, scratch marks, or paying guards. Pog. So that mixed with smash hit is kind of pog. Yep. Or decisive strike. Or head on. Yep. It's, it's just a good perk, especially with synergies. God damn. Any stun. Oh my god. Oh, that's that's nasty. Blast mine, you just randomly stop leaving scratch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Parental Guide does also activate if the killer is stunned by Blast Mine. But Blast Mine is a stun and a blind. Oh, it's a demo puppy. Ah, and he sees me. Goodbye, demo puppy. Uh, and he's got bad connection again. Dog. But I, I don't know what the threshold for bad connection is in this game because. So far, we've seen it a few times, and it very rarely actually has an effect on them. Mm hmm. Hey, chair. Bro, the ace made it so I couldn't get value for my perk. I was looping him around, and then ace just vaults into him. Ah. Uh, mm. Well, I mean, you did get value, but just not from the perk. I got value from the ace. ace. Yeah. <laughs> He's giving parental guidance. Sure. Yeah. David! Yeah. I just need to sit on my gens. Get my stuns, get my archive. By the way, pro tip, if you do this, the killer won't be able to hear the gen for archives. But if they have ruin, they'll definitely hear it, but no one's earning ruin. When are survivors going to be allowed to run ruin? I mean, last match there was a survivor running or ruin our fun. Damn. Oh. This man is savage. He didn't hear the heal? No! Bro, thanks David for using my pallet. No, man. Just thanks, sorry. David. That's one. By the way, I might three genus. Just for the archive. Just for the archive. I promise. Oh no, this is fine. This is a good gen to do. Does he have? He doesn't have a uh, kiki gen. Oh. What is it? Oh, goddamn! Overcharge. That that kiki gen. Overpression. Mhm. Mm Depression. Extra. Duh. Depression. Deprecation. Ah, uh, okay. didn't switch. Defecation. Pallet? Defecation. They ate that pallet already. God. There's two in, in mid, if you want them. Thanks. Okay, bye. The pallet here? I should just stay in mid. Less? No, I don't get this. Night. Sorry, I have to greet for Where is he? Oh, there he is. Pallet? Oh, there he is! I'm actually surprised that... The two gens that are done are the two that I've done. Hey, you got your archive, though. I did get my archive. Okay, so there's a, a butthole behind us, so we will need to move. He's chasing like, yeah, right there. No way. No way. Oh crap, that's a call. Hey, we're talking. Sorry, my precious viewers, how I have not got a stun with a pellet yet. Because the one pellet that I could, I kind of butchered. <laughs> I, I bumped into something, I think. Like, right before I was about to get it. So, uh, that's on me. Air? No. Yeah, you moonwalk. Dead man's the big ol' Oh, he's on he was on this gen. 
I'm just bad. I'm just bad. I'm just bad. Just. Ah. Fun fact: you gotta actually get stuns. It's for Topher. <laughs> Hopefully, you can find a pallet. Also, fun fact: this is our first time running this perk. I love how skill checks are client sided because you're getting a lot. Holy shit! Because the first one. Looks like a great and said good. All of these are greats for me. <laughs> Let's go! Unseen, undetected, un... Unknown. Value? Value! Value? That's not an open door. That's also not an open door. That's also not an open door. Found it. Don't worry, the pallet's gone because. Yeah, why is the pallet gone? Um, not me. It, it was like the second pallet yeah. location that I saw in this match, and it. it yep. Both well, these guys just like use pallets for this best. Without trying for a stun. But I guess it is demo, so. It's fair. What I'm concerned with is where is David? <laughs> on a gen, thankfully. Now he's off okay, the gen yeah. hiding. Sort of. He's in a hallway somewhere. It's this map. I... Yep. you <laughs> I have no no scratch marks no blood oh I do think oh I do now I guess don't worry he didn't pick you up because he didn't see you that's right I just disappeared from the map for seven seconds ah this invite the bowler is so good <laughs> that's water. unbelievable oh my gosh that'd be an OP build when they're making when are they making a perk that makes you literally invisible Oh, that would Soon. be OP. Parental gu or parental guidance, smash hit, bite the bullet. Self care. True. I mean, it'd take fucking ages to kill yourself, but. Yeah. I mean, self care, bite the bullet, can just be used like as a brief getaway tool. Yeah. Which is what I did. So you just you just bullet. get free fucking iron will, actual iron will. Free nerf iron. I mean, it's it's good that Iron Will's not as effective because other perks straight up did what Iron Will did, but only on a like certain time, among other you know things. I.e. parental guidance. <laughs> At least we got value, Matt. Le we got value. At least there was one time, one of us got value in match one. Thanks for carrying, Jay. <laughs> so we don't have to worry <laughs> as much for match two. <laughs> cool. Wait! Oh. It's it's the game. There's a million fucking pallets on this map. It's a trick. Oh, let's go. No, it's not. It's Wesker. No, it's Wesker. I apologize. Oh, this is not going to work great. Please don't oh, see me. Goose! No! Please don't see me. Just find the goose. Just chase after the goose. I'm goosing. Ah, oh, he found me. I should have just stayed where I was. Oh, thank God. This Nia thought I was the Wesker. She just got scared. Wesker wears a cowboy hat, right? Honestly, if they could just make open skins for the... If they could just get into a deal where they could just make skins for the... Uh... What are they called? The premium character? The licensed. Licensed. There we go. The licensed killers. That'd be great. Yeah, value. Nice. Actual possible value because it delayed. I played that so wrong. <laughs> Didn't it just ate my vault? Not that it would have <laughs> done anything except delay him like 
five seconds it would only delay, delay the inevitable. I hate it here. <laughs> and if if the wall were open, then I probably would have got a lot more value because you kind of just use parental guidance to run into a wall and kind of slightly juke him until I ran into his LOS. No, you don't do those things. There's the pallet that I didn't really get value off. <laughs> oh, there's the whiskey that I didn't really get value off of. And there's no gens that I can get value off of. Yeah, fuck it, bathroom gen. Follow your heart. Now. The references. Can't spell follow your heart without fart. Please be chasing. I love how this perk is kind of like aggro stealth. Because you don't just activate it. You gotta stun the killer and they're gonna fucking know if you stun them. Blood. Blood, go away. Blood. Just stun him. Forehead. Right. My bad. Just throw a pebble at him and stun him with <laughs> Ada, please. A Ada, please. It's like a free sprint burst. When people just choose to run away, you don't catch up to them. Stop! Running! So I can goddamn heal you! Goose! This is a wild goose chase. Imagine healing against a whisker. Literally, you have first aid spray. <laughs> See, Ada, we wouldn't have to risk being seen if we didn't go up <laughs> all the way here to heal. <laughs> Anywhere else would have been better. But yeah, in the game, first aid spray just straight up heals you. Right. And you need something else to remove, like, whatever infection. Usually it's like a blue herb. Depending on the game, because... Why did I hesitate? I thought she was You weren't gonna make chased. it anyways. Ah, she was being chased. Value, value, value! Value! Got him, got him, got him! <laughs> he doesn't know where I am. Oh, my god, visuals! Maybe he didn't see me. I thought you were gonna come through that way and I was gonna try to block. Just disappeared oh. on me. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all good. I, I need to get aggro to show up the perk. We're fine. We're doing great. Oh, he respected it this time? I gotta spam the button? Nah. He respected it again. Should've. Should've thunk. Goes faster. <laughs> Valley! <laughs> oh, there's no pressure for hitting it. He definitely knows I went downstairs, though, right? Value? Massive value. I need to leave. Where is he? Oh, no, you oh. don't need to leave. He's on me. Oh, good? Okay. Goose, get yeah, the he save. respects pallets so much around me. <laughs> and rightfully so, because I kind of just burned through that one. Oh! <laughs> he aimed slightly off. I, I feel his pain. Oh, I do too. More value? More value? Dude, I'm so glad we finally got an indoor map for, like, a stealth perk. It feels like it never happens. Wait, yeah, I've gotten, like, value two, three times already. So if you're planning on going to the game, just burn this. Where are you? Oh. I was literally right on the pallet. So if you want to burn a game offering, this perk is really good among 
some other perks. Or with other perks. With this map. Or something. English hard. <laughs> it's Weskin time. I feel like I'm fucked. Yep. I fucked up. I fucked up. Why did you wait so long? I tried to bait him. Oh, so then you turn around and leave. I don't mind how it actually hits through windows. I do like how it doesn't like bug out though. If he hits you through the window with it. Do I throw? Because I think it's winnable without me. I don't have the choice <clears throat> to see it. Hello, Neo. Oh God. Being able to just see item locations through the map in Resident Evil would be like so strong. Especially if it doesn't occupy an inventory slot. Wee. Yeah, more like we yeah. No. Have adrenaline, please. I had power struggle. <laughs> I had power struggle smash hit. <laughs> then I could have. <laughs> Probably. Had it work out. Alright, diggity done with this.